All right, so this is my follow-up video to my Expedition Sidecar, KLR650, uh, 2016. Uh, I did a video on it uh, a couple months ago, several months ago actually, about my setup. But since then, I've converted the whole bike over to 17-inch cast tubeless wheels. And so the whole thing, including the sidecar, all take the same size tire, a 130, 80, 17 on all four corners. So what I did, all these wheels and brake rotor, 320 millimeter brake rotor is all off a GS500 Suzuki. Luckily, they make a caliper relocation bracket for a 320 millimeter uh, rotor. So I bought one from Tusk, it's like 23 bucks. You can see it right there and so, I was able to use a 320 millimeter rotor just fine. That was pretty much a bolt-on. Um, the tires I'm running are called a Max. I guess they're out of China. Uh, price was right, they're like 50 bucks a piece. I bought two of them, one for the front and one for the sidecar. So uh, in my last video, you can see I have the 2,500 pound winch. In here is all the winch accessories, snatch block, remote control, hooks, and strap. Uh, I think it's a 50 watt, uh, maybe it's a, no, it's a 35 watt solar panel on the front that uh, charges a deep cycle 12 volt RV battery in the sidecar. That's a standalone, it's not charged by the bike at all, only by the solar panel, and it has uh, USB ports to charge devices and it's a backup for the motor for the, the bike. I have a spare tire mounted on here. It's a 130 80 uh, 17 Shinko that I had. That's my spare and it fits all three wheels. There's the uh, another rear GS500 wheel that I can swap with the back of the, the drive on the bike. I just have to swap the rotor slide in the uh, the uh, sprocket carrier and I can put it on the on the sidecar uh, if I need to an emergency one and a half gallon road or uh, Colpin fuel cell uh, LED lights on the back and an LED light on the front that are all run off the battery in the sidecar that's charged by the solar for um, setting up camp at night or if I get stuck I can turn them on see what I'm doing digging myself out there's a survival shovel uh, it's sharpened on the edges like an axe so you can cut wood with it and dig yourself out of a hole uh, let's see this side carries a five gallon water jug or a two gallon water jug or a pannier that I have all my cooking stuff in uh, pots pans uh, silverware bowl uh, plate uh, I carry my food everything in that pannier that can just be strapped on there if I'm gonna go for a long ways overnight and cook or water jugs of different sizes for off-road uh, that's a uh, seahorse 630 top box and inside there is all my survival stuff uh, there's my uh, headlamp LED lantern, flashlight, my digital voice recorder, because I'm a Bigfoot guy, so I set the digital voice recorder out in the woods, come back and get it days later. That's all in there, along with extra gloves, uh, first aid kit, um, just some extra parts and uh, that I might need. And in the, in the sidecar itself is a big, huge tool kit, and I also carry a 14-tooth sprocket in there, a jack, a uh, bow saw, a hatchet, a uh, machete, and then all my camping and survival gear goes in there. Um, a tusk pannier, and this is my day-to-day -day stuff I keep in there. Uh, my hat, gloves, rain pants, uh, emergency chair, an emergency hammock. Um, all that stuff stays in there. I went with stock gearing, but the problem was that you only... Uh, 43 tooth sprocket I could find for a GS500 wheel was aluminum so I'm running it I don't think it'll last long but I'll have a custom one made 
uh, from here on, but I needed one right away. So it's got an aluminum sprocket. Uh, seat concept seat, which is awesome. I have hippo hands on here, original hippo hands. And uh, they're held by the, uh, the aluminum hand guards um, so that they don't come back and hit the clutch and brake lever. Um, in here is the motorcycle battery. And it's a 12 volt deep cycle RV that's charged by the bike. You can see the wires going in. And in here is a digital air compressor that you just set the, set the pressure and it shuts itself off when it gets there. Um, an extra ram mount here for my spot. If I'm riding with others, I keep my spot on the bike. If not, I keep it on my person. Uh, just a cheapo watch off of eBay. Shoot, I've had this thing on there since I bought the bike, so it's been several years. It still works perfect, just strapped on. Another ram mount there. My main ram mount up here. And then here I have two USB ports plus a 12 volt socket. Um, that's all waterproof, that's been great. I built this dash right after I bought the bike here. Holds everything. Uh, let's see, homemade cra uh, highway pegs and uh, KX450F front fender from UFO. Uh, cheapy eBay gas shocks that are an experiment to see how long I need because they're adjustable. We have some good shocks built here one of these days when I get around to it. Um, Solo Box risers, which are awesome. Can't say enough about Eric up at Solo Box. And a zero gravity sport touring shield that took a rock and broke, but it's still on there and still works. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. My big news was I was able to fit these wheels on. Oh yeah, one last thing. This has got a 20 millimeter bigger rear rotor than a stock, Kawasaki, stock KOR, so I had to make a bracket to relocate the rear caliper. And you can't really see it, but it's in there. And it relocated the caliper, so now I can run a bigger rear, rear uh, uh, rotor. Motor's all stock. Everything's all stock. Stock exhaust, stock airbox, stock jetting. I'll get to that one of these days. Oh yeah, two inch rocks risers. And... Uh, one inch bar adapters because I'm running uh, fat bars, Tusk fat bars, CR high bend. Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, it works really well. You can see it's pretty dirty. I use it a lot. Um, we'll be at the Tour Tech Rally this year. Uh, I've got a table inside here that clips on right here and extends about three feet. Uh, so I have a cooking area. Since I have the spare tire, I'll mount it up here now. Um, I can't cook on top of it, so that's my cooking. And uh, I've got another winch that I'm going to mount back here one of these days. They were so cheap on sale, I bought two, so it's just sitting in the garage waiting to be mounted. Probably never use it. What the hell? It's only like 40 bucks, and I can build mounts for it pretty cheap. So, uh, oh, one last thing. The KLR speedometer does not fit on the GS wheel right there and the GS speedometer runs a totally different cable than the KL KLR does and I can't find a long enough GS 500 uh, speedometer cable so as of right now I do not have a speedometer hooked to the bike what I use is a speedometer app on my uh, iPhone that I'm filming with that carries over the odometer so I can, re I can use that for my fuel uh, and just reset it when I fuel up the bike, which works out really good. And it was like four bucks for the, for the app. And I'm pretty happy with it. I'm still experimenting with some other apps to see which is the best. But the one I've got now, I forget the name of it, is, uh, works pretty well. So yeah, that's it. That's my uh, Expedition Sidecar now with uh, three cast tubeless matching wheels. So it's all ready to roll. Adios amigos.